Commission has had many successes during its brief history as an agency. But it was born of great tragedy. Pennsylvania's wildlife was severely depleted by the end of the 1890s. Some species were extirpated or became extinct. In 1895, the General Assembly responded by creating the Pennsylvania Game Commission to manage and protect the wildlife that was left. The fledgling agency faced many challenges, and by protecting wildlife, developing wildlife habitat, restocking several species that had been extirpated, and promoting natural reforestation in vast areas, the Game Commission fostered an environment where wildlife began to recover and eventually thrive. Wildlife conservation in the 21st century faces new difficulties. Across the globe, wildlife populations declined by 60% since 1970. The Game Commission faces challenges brought on by cultural and societal shifts. Wildlife and hunting are perceived differently today. This cultural shift can threaten our ability to fund wildlife conservation into the future. The Game Commission has always been committed to providing outdoor opportunities for Commonwealth citizens and ensuring Pennsylvania's wildlife has a future. What we've seen over the last 20 to 30 years is more and more wildlife diseases and, and the management of wildlife diseases has worked its way into just about every section and, and group of animals that we manage in the Game Commission. The Pennsylvania Game Commission conducts wildlife disease surveillance, research, training, and public education, as well as identify and monitor infectious and non-infectious diseases to make sound wildlife management decisions. But we must build on our successes. Elk tourism is a $70 million industry, and the Game Commission is improving elk habitat in areas where new viewing platforms are being erected. The Game Commission is improving habitat and health for elk and will shape a better viewing experience for visitors and hunters. Wildlife belongs to all of us. Wildlife must be managed for sustainability, so generations yet to be born can experience wildlife. Encountering nature firsthand makes a lasting impact on children. We just saw a bird, that bird. Providing ample opportunity to experience wildlife fosters an ethic that will cultivate our future conservationists. Platforms provide opportunities for wildlife viewing, a huge economic driver in the United States. In 2016, 86 million people spent $75.9 billion on watching wildlife, 1% of the gross domestic product. Two locations, Haldeman Island and Blue Marsh, are transforming into premier small game hunting lands. Both are close to large population centers and are readily accessible to over three million people. I enjoy hunting because me and my dad, he kind of gets us out in the nature and you can listen to the birds and it's not all about shooting the animals, but it's about the experience. Wildlife-friendly agricultural practices are being utilized to create one of the largest contiguous grasslands in the state. Blue Marsh will be a small game destination for Pennsylvania and the entire East Coast. Some hunters have supported the agency for a lifetime, but have very limited access. Our vision is to expand existing oil and gas roads to permit broader access to the state game land system. The Game Commission's public shooting ranges are an opportunity to showcase safety and promote shooting sports. Including shelters over shooting range benches provides protection from the weather. Expansions include updating shooting benches, upgrading backstops and drainage, and providing better access for people with disabilities at 16 ranges by 2020. 
The Game Commission is making improvements to wildlife protection efforts by adding new game wardens over the next three years. The agency is updating officer equipment and vehicles, allowing them to be more efficient and effective. Two of Pennsylvania's greatest wetlands are Pima Tuning and Conneaut. More than three million people visit Pima Tuning annually, and a new wildlife education center will communicate the area's rich wildlife heritage, enhance the visitor's experience, and broaden the agency's connection with the public. A popular destination is the Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area, which receives a quarter million visitors annually. Over the next few years, we are expanding the Visitor Center to include Pennsylvania's wildlife conservation and management history. Turkey, grouse, and deer all require young forest for part of their life cycle. But much of Pennsylvania's forests are old and getting older. Young forests provide places to nest and rear young, as well as offer protective cover for many game and non-game species. By increasing harvest rates, the Game Commission is on course to meet its goal of almost 20% of game land forests in a young age class before 2045. For 120 years, the Pennsylvania Game Commission has served the citizens of the Commonwealth and achieved many wildlife success stories. We have a shared responsibility for our wildlife's future. Thank you.